Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 23 of Last FIFA 13 and we start this episode off by going into the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup and it will be the first games of many in this episode. We got 7 games total, so a bunch of gameplay and uh, we start the, the first game off with Lamella breaking into the box but it is saved and then it's Rubinho's turn on the other wing to get into the box. We try out a shot but it goes wide and just one minute after I break through with parts to take out the keeper there and it's 1-0 and not too bad and we get one final chance here in the first half Rubinho will go past the same defender three to four times nice stuff there but unlucky not to get the goal and then into the second half he will get it back get the equalizer in the 48th minute but uh, seven minutes later it's part two on the ball goes past several defenders and get me back into the lead there nice stuff from him and he's once again on the ball just one minute after and you will find Rubinho who makes a nice run and we will chip it over the key but I rarely score those chips so I had to watch the replay of that one lovely goal there and that is how the game ends 3-1 and I move on into the semi-finals of the goal cup but before I play that I did a little bit of trading I went out and picked up picked up eight wall cuts for between 1400 to 1500 coins and then I picked up uh, some position modifiers for 1.1k exactly for all of them and I'll convert a wall cut into a right mid which will be a total cost of 2.5 to 2.6k and I'll sell them on for 3.2 to 3.3k so that's about uh, 500 to 600 coins profit after tax now I went into the gold cup and I come up against a 5 at the back who had a lot of pace and he just played ultra defensive so I didn't create many interesting chances because he just had eight players back basically all the time so difficult to break down but I will get a go there to make it 1-0 and it was one of the most boring games I played in a long time he just played over the top balls all the time it didn't work out for him but just Oh, I hate those games. But yeah, we go into the final of the Gold Cup there. We go with our Contracts Cup and team with the uh, Inform de Guzman into the side now and see how he does. And uh, we pick up a penalty here. Not quite sure it is, but 24th of the series. And been a while since we got one. So we're a little bit rusty. He will save it there. Should probably have been a goal, but it didn't matter too much because I'll create a whole lot more chances here. It's Remy on the ball. Going past a few defenders. Takes the shot, but a quite easy save there from form and then a nice play the Guzman with the back heel gets it back and he will find Alaba who is a through on goal a little ball will drag back past the keeper and it's 1-0 lovely go there from the team and we continue on it's Aliyah on the ball I go with the quick ball rolls but not really any players close so I'll try it out again here just outside the box I go with the rainbow flake to a sideways volley but his keeper will save it could have been a pretty nice goal but far from done he gives to Rat way too much space we try the volley and it will go in to make it a 2-0 into the second half once again the Guzman on the ball we take the shot it hits to wrap and goes in to make it a 3-0 and once again the Guzman on the ball precision dribbling into a letter past the defender a little fake shot we take the shot it falls to to wrap will pass it back off the barn the Guzman gets the goal to make it 4-0 of course not intentional but still a pretty nice pass there from him and from to wrap despite being a quite bad shot and we will pick up the second penalty of this uh, of this game and this episode and this time around I thought the Guzman should have a go and he shoots it down the middle over the keeper to make it a 5-0 so not too bad there we win the final quite comfortable and uh, we get a bunch of coins we get the trophy and we will play one final game in the gold cup and we continue on with the same side and I come up against the squad which is not too bad a 4-2-2-2 a Premier League side there with Bale as uh, left center attacking mid and I get my first chance here with Leah out on the wing we cut inside and pass it into the middle where we will find um, Anita who takes the shot and makes it 1-0 and at halftime I did dominate the half quite a bit just didn't create that many skill chances but we go into the second half he heads it in off a corner to make it 1-1 but straight from kickoff I'll actually get through quite lucky there to make it 2-1 but just uh, four minutes later he will cross it in and I don't know, very bad re reactions from Diego Alves there. He should have reacted way faster to that header because you could see it coming from a long distance. But uh, yeah, he gets the goal there to make it 2-2. Two -two. I hit the post and then in the 90th minute, I do not manage to, to clear it away probably. He takes the shot and he makes it a 3-2. And I kicked it off and the game was pretty much over. So that was a little bit frustrating because I didn't feel he deserved to win the game. I felt I could uh, have gotten the win in extra time. But that's how it is sometimes in FIFA. And then it 
it was time to try out the Silver Shield tournament instead. We're into the semi-finals, coming up against a quite similar squad to mine. He also have um Fit for Cetus, Quincy and Gary McKay Steven. He did also play ultra defensive and I hate those games because it is so difficult to break the squad down and get a chances and he was up 1-0 but I will get back here with a Quincy and a Chikori, some nice link up play there and 1-1 one, one it is and we continue on into the second half. It is Gary McKay Steven on the ball, we try out a shot, I try first time there with a Quincy but of course the keeper will save that one but we get it back, cross it in, a little sideways volley but but his keeper will save that one. But then in the 87th minute, I finally break through with a Chemechi. Nice stuff there. And it's 2-1. It gives me the lead and it gives me the win. And I move on into the final of the Silver Shield tournament. We apply a few contracts and then we head on into that game. And I come up against a very, very good opponent. He played 3-5-2 with players from Uruguay and uh, Argentina. And he was a very good opponent. Cannot take that away from him. And in the first half, I basically didn't really create anything. So we go into the second half and then we get a chance here with a few headers around and we find Quincy in the end but a terrible shot from the silver player there. But we try to get it back into the game. First here with Quincy it does not go in and then scare my case Steven to hit the post and we get a chance here, we pass it up to Quincy and I wanted to throw it back straight to my player and for some reason it doesn't lock onto him. He gets on the ball and I rush it way too much, a little bit frustrated there and he chips it over over my defense and uh, Alfaro is through on goal and look at that goal lovely chip there it was a beautiful goal and I cannot take it away he he played a very very good and I guess in the end he did deserve the lead I felt if I had gotten that 1-1 one, one equalizer the game might have ended different but still a very very good opponent there but I didn't want to end this episode off with a loss so we go into one a found game come up against a 3-5-2 side once again with Fed for Cedis and Quincy in the side and I get my first chance here lovely stuff from Quincy look at that the contextual turn to go past the defender and make it 1-0 deserve have to watch in the replay. Lovely goal there, and it's one 0 We continue on. Fed for Cedis on the ball. A little rainbow flick. We find Brown, but uh, not the best shot there. Then we we'll go into the uh, second half where it's the 82nd minute. He breaks through. Um, he gets onto the ball, and uh, I go with the slide tackle. And what a goal-saving slide tackle there to deny him the goal. Lovely stuff, and uh, I was quite uh, happy there because I thought he was going to get the equalizer, and I tried to get a two-goal lead there. First one we get. get Jeremy K. Steven, and then we get another chance with Chica. We ball will flick to go past the defender and takes on another one, and that ends off the episode. Lovely goal, and that's all for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. We'll have a tutorial out tomorrow, and then we have um, and then we have uh, another episode out on Tuesday. So that's all. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.